Well, welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about courage. What does the Bible say about courage? Where does courage come from? So, I come from a completely atheistic family who just think I'm crazy for being a Christian. They've never understood it. They've never supported me in any way about my Christianity. So it takes a lot of courage for me to keep being a Christian. I have to stand up to the world and to my family, sometimes even to God, because he doesn't make sense to me sometimes. <laughs> so this idea of courage, how do I have the courage to stand up to everything and live out my beliefs to be a Christian? Courage. Let's learn about courage together. So let's see what the Bible says about courage. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 to 12. We are pressed on every side, yet not crushed, perplexed, yet not to despair, pursued, yet not forsaken, struck down, yet not destroyed, always carrying in the body the putting to death of the Lord Jesus that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus may be revealed in our mortal flesh. So then death works in us, but life in you. 2 Kings 6, 15-16 when the servant of the man of God had risen early and gone out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was around the city. His servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? He answered, Don't be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Second Timothy 1 7. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self control. Ephesians 6 10 through 12. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world's rulers of the darkness of this age, and against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Isaiah 40, 29. He gives power to the weak. He increases the strength of him who has no might. Isaiah 41.10 Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 43, 1. But now Yahweh who created you, Jacob, and he who formed you, Israel, says, Don't be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Isaiah 43, 2 through 3. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, and flame will not scorch you. For I am Yahweh your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Joshua 1, 6-9 be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land, which I swore to their fathers to give them. 
only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Don't turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed, for Yahweh your God is with you wherever you go. Matthew 10.28 Don't be afraid of those who kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Rather, fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Philippians 4.12 I know how to be humbled, and I also know how to abound. In everything and in all things, I have learned the secret, both to be filled and to be hungry, both to abound and to be in need. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. Psalm 27, 1. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 14. Wait for Yahweh. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for Yahweh. Psalm 31, 24. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in Yahweh. Psalm 37, 3 through 5. Trust in Yahweh and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Also delight yourself in Yahweh, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to Yahweh. Trust also in him, and he will do this. Psalm 37, 28. For Yahweh loves justice and doesn't forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. Psalm 56, 3 through 4. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, I praise his word. In God, I put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Romans 8.15 For you didn't receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry, Abba, Father. May God add blessing to the reading of his word. Well, now for our new modern expression. This is the idea, nothing but skin and bones. <laughs> and this means very thin to the point of emaciation. So we use this a lot like when we come home from college for the first time. And your mother takes one look at you and said, have you eaten anything? You're nothing but skin and bones. Go and eat something. So the idea comes from Job 19.20. My bones stick to my skin and to my flesh. I have escaped by the skin of my teeth. So the idea of nothing but skin and bones.